sabi mo nga, yung approach mo is, you know, history through genealogy for those who are not familiar with with that particular uh, field no ito yung pagconstruct ng mga family trees no uh, yung uh, pag-establish ng mga interconnections between families between people that uh, sometimes uh, even even uh, uh, people in the family trees themselves uh, were not aware that they're part of that family tree uh, you don't sh- you don't avoid no you indica indica you don't evade controversial personalities in this no, I do not. in your history in your genealogy yeah. maybe uh, occasionally you do you do showbiz no pero you do a lot of political people no uh, a recent example lang si Imelda Romualdez Marcos no um very interesting yung yung nalaman mo for for uh, two reasons no one is uh ipinanganak pala siya sa San Juan de Dios no uh, which is interesting for me because that was our family hospital no number two the more it, maybe the more uh interesting uh thing that you found out no na na she, on her birth certificate was not the name Imelda she was born Hilda H I L the A, you know, uh, everybody knows Imelda Marcos. Nobody knows Hilda Marcos. Did you discover that on your own, or alam mo na to from reading her biography, and then you decided to turn it into a TikTok um, video and kind of, uh, kind of um, coyly pretend that it was a discovery? No, it wasn't. It it wasn't something I actually actually knew before. I was doing. Uh, a compilation of all of the uh, birth certificates, death certificates, marriage certificates of the Marcos family in the context of researching where were the places they lived because I was looking at another line of, of research. So looking for her birth, I can only find her baptismal. It was an interesting find uh, because I, I, I was I, know, I was disturbed. Now, why can't I find it? Na parang nakakainis. Kasi it's the the records were were available i had the right place i had the right date bakit wala siya and that is but because when... wait excuse me you, you were searching imelda romualdez correct at the time it's like a microfilm so pag binabasa mo you put your eye in the in the in the in the spot where the name of the child is so ano uh, scan 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 it's not ano uh, it's not uh, it's not like you google it at type mo lang lalabas na you have to read each and every uh, page of that book Doon sa child field, name siya makita. So I just adjusted my eyes downwards. And now I started looking at the at the parents. And it was when I was looking at the parents na, ah, okay, hang on, ito yung parents nila. It's not likely that they had another child in the same year. And all and everything else matched. The address, the the job, the uh, the ages. It, it's natural to conclude that it's the right person. And it's not anything nefarious. Ha? There is in our history a lot of times when your birth certificate differs from your baptismal certificate. Meron yung mga, mga matatanda na sinasabi kapag masakitin yung bata, palitan mo yung pangalan para mawal, uh, hindi na siya mahanap ng masamang espiritu that was hounding the child. So baka ganun. That's why her baptismal record actually says Imelda Visitacion Remedios Remolde. So, yun na yung pangalan na ginagamit niya. And for like, uh, like if you want to travel abroad, back then, your baptismal certificate suffices. So, hindi na niya kailangan ng, ano, ng, ng birth certificate. But okay, but that created another mystery. You know? So, paano siya naging Imelda nga? Uh, has she ever, was this ever mentioned uh, in uh, in any of her biographies? Uh, so, uh, did she ever she mention was... this? Did does she no. even know? <laughs> I, I don't know if if she knew that she was um recorded yeah. in her in civil records with a different name. She was baptized three days after she was born, and on her baptismal records, it was already using Imelda. So I I would think she just used what she got used to. Okay, I don't know well, if she would uh, know that. Pero at one point, siguro she needed a birth certificate. No, uh, kasi to, before to get, na, baptismal, to, to get something. But, baptismal is acceptable. Oh, Pwede personally, na. my baptismal name is on my passport. Na mas, kung mm-hmm. may Maria. Eh, wala namang Maria mm-hmm. sa birth ko. So, mm-hmm. pinanindigan ko na lang yun. Kasi yun na yung nasa DFA. 